Jesus, Jesus, love you, Jesus loves you. Jesus is good. Jesus is my God. Jesus is holy. Love you, Jesus loves you. Love you, Jesus loves you. Jesus. <laughs> uh, anyways, what was I going to say? So death certificate, marriage license. So everybody, in order to get into heaven, you have to have both a death certificate and marriage license. Like before you die, you have to die, you have to have a death certificate. You have to die to yourself, die to everything, and give your life to Jesus. Jesus comes to live in you, his Holy Spirit, and his Holy Spirit joins with your spirit to never become undone. If you really give your whole life to Jesus, the Holy Spirit and your spirit are connected forever. So, uh, so Paul says, you know, I died and uh, it's no longer I that live, but Christ that lives in me. So Paul had his death certificate while he was still alive. He said, you know, nevertheless, I live, but not I, but Christ that lives in me. So Paul died and Jesus came to, to life within him. So there's, there's an element of that you're still alive, but Jesus is running your life and you're literally a different and a new creation because Jesus is running you and he uses you and your personality in a master slave way, but also in a best friend way, like a best friend, which leads to my second point. You have to have your marriage certificate. So you have to, when you marry someone, you say yes to one if I was to marry someone, I say yes to one girl and no to every other girl. When you marry Jesus, you have to have a marriage license in order to go to heaven. You say no to not only to every person, but to every angel, demon, Satan, sin, what you want to do. You know, you got to stop running your life. You got what it doesn't, you drop everything. So because he's God, and he made all of creation, you have to say no to all of creation in order to get the creator, which is Jesus. We were made by Jesus and for Jesus, according to the Bible in the New Testament. I think it's Colossians. So you have to say no to everything in creation, including yourself, and say yes to one person, Jesus. And he has to agree to it. You have to seek with all your heart and not give up until you find him. And the Bible, the Bible promises Jesus promises if you seek him with all with all your heart that you will find him. So when you find him, you give your whole life to Jesus and to one person and one person only and one thing only and one, one, one. It's all about Jesus. So you give your whole life to Jesus. He gives his whole life to you and his Holy Spirit comes to live in you and you live a holy, loving life. Love you, Jesus loves you. So you have to have your death certificate. You die to everything that you think and want and everything you are. And then you marry Jesus and he comes to life in you. And really, then you become who you really meant to be. Like you live out your personality to its full potential. Like you do what you were born to do. Because we were made by Jesus and for Jesus. It's like a vacuum cleaner sitting on the couch. Like a vacuum cleaner wasn't designed to sit in a recliner. Like a vacuum cleaner was designed to be plugged in and, you know, pull up the dirt. So like make things clean. So we were created to be salt and light. We were we were made by Jesus and for Jesus. So to reach your true potential, you have to give your whole life to Jesus. But it's not about reaching your true potential. It's about repenting for the awful, the awful stuff we've done and giving our life to our loving father and savior and best friend and master and God, Jesus Christ. Love you, Jesus loves you. So you have to have your death certificate, your marriage license, and uh, you get that by giving your whole life to Jesus. And then you are who you were supposed, who you were created to be. Jesus love you, Jesus loves you. Jesus.